goodness. Good morning. My volume up. No, it won't tell me. Okay. Oh, there we go. Good morning. I'm Chris. My group is Find Your High Vibe. And I'm also sharing into Dee's group, Turn Your Pain Into Power. Oh, haha. -ha. How about I plug that in? Happy Thursday. How are you guys today? So this morning, um, something brought my attention to, well, there's a group on Facebook called Trust Your Journey, and I follow them. I haven't really spent much time on that page, but I did order a shirt from them. Um, so Trust Your Journey. Trust Your Journey. Okay. Hmm. So that's where a lot of these tools come into play is when you're in a position you're not sure what's happening it doesn't seem to be going as planned and usually that's the time to trust right big we're talking big picture usually that's the time to trust and then i thought of uh, the game of life like a board game do you want to see your entire board game? Do you want to see all the spots along the way where there's going to be a bump or a challenge or a big decision to make? And I don't know, what's that finish line look like for you? So a couple of uh, ideas that come into play when you're facing a challenge or things aren't going well and you're called to trust your journey. Um, goodness, <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. So I like to use my personal life, my life as an example. Okay, go to law school, move to California after law school, fail the bar exam. Well, that sucks. Now what do I do? Now looking back, thank God, because I was kind of I was trying to find a legal job when I got there and I started working for this kind of skeezy lawyer, <laughs> just trying to do something. And he had like some other assistant person. I think she had failed the bar like six times. So he pretty much was looking for cheap help. He didn't have a paralegal. He didn't have a secretary. And if I had passed the bar and started working with that guy, I, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it would have been wonderful. But right now I'm looking back and thinking, I'm glad that didn't happen. Um, then there was another legal job. I think I applied to like the San Diego County Public Defender. I don't know. Some kind of legal office in San Diego. And they called me one day and said something came up on your background check. And I cried and cried and cried and it was so horrible and my life was over and how was I ever going to practice law and it was such a bizarre situation what came up in that background check so weird but there was nothing I could do about it thank god then somehow I found a job at a literary agency which I didn't even know what that was <laughs> but it it turned out to be awesome. So it's kind of tough when you're going through maybe challenges or periods of growth. So, you know, you've got periods of growth, you've got periods of rest, and but things are always changing. And having that trust that the universe is supporting you and guiding you and you're right where you're supposed to be, it can be challenging, but you have to keep it in mind, right? So um, those are a couple examples of things. Why is this happening to me? It wasn't happening to me, it was happening for me. And that's happened, that's, I'm sure it's come up for you, right? Where you think, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening? Why can't it just work out? It's happening for you and you have to have that trust. And that's when you need to tune in. If you are in touch with your intuition, you can check that out in your body. Okay, 
how do I feel about this? What can I do about this? Am I trusting? What does your inner guidance tell you to do? Um, what else? Happening to you, for you? I just tried to make notes so I wouldn't forget. Um, so I like to bake a lot and I can never take a recipe as it's written. I always have to, hmm, I wonder if this would be better. I wonder if that would be better. So sometimes it's, it doesn't turn out the best. Like making scones this morning. I never just take a straight recipe. I always have to play with it. I, and then sometimes I'm kind of bummed that it didn't work out that great. And I think, oh God, there's a whole hour I just wasted and all these ingredients. But who knows, I could have come up with something incredibly awesome. And so maybe that can apply to big life steps. Because you never know until you try, right? And so the other night I was thinking about things that have happened in my life and all those, oh, why is this happening to me at the moment that now I'm thinking, thank goodness, thank goodness it went this way. Thank goodness that didn't work out. So something to think about, okay? <laughs> That's what I was led to discuss this morning. So let's see, the game board, the trust, the intuition. So I love waking up in the morning and wondering what awesome things are going to happen today? Because sometimes I'm blown away at the end of the day. Things happen that you couldn't have predicted in the morning. And that was happening for me last week. It's been happening. It's been wonderful if you're open to it. So being open um, and listening to your intuition. I'm sure I said something that you guys <laughs> can use, right? Something struck a chord. I hope, okay? I'm just following what comes in the morning and this is what I was led to talk about. So maybe uh, more examples coming up. So anyway, so are you in a period of growth or rest right now? I think a lot of people are in rest and a lot of people are in growth. I guess everybody's going through growth. So take it easy on yourself, have trust and the universe is supporting you. Just know that, okay? And I hope you have a great Thursday, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.